So this video's probably gonna piss some people off. <laughs> Guys, Steve here from Australian 4x4 Adventures, and like the thumbnail would have said, does Drifter need to stop? Oh, oh I'm specifically talking about Luke here. Um, if you follow his social media pages, so the Drifter four wheel drive page, even his um, actually, I don't know if you follow his personal, but Kato's page as well. Um, I haven't got a drama with Kato. At all, I think his stuff is professional. It's done nicely. It's about what he's doing. It's it's all pretty much legit. Luke, on the other hand, my God, that guy needs to take a chill pill. Seriously, right? So the story behind why all this has come about. Obviously, it's not no no great big secret that I'm not a massive fan of drift in the first place because they sort of had a go at me about making the draw video. <laughs> If you haven't seen the draw video, it's down in my channel below. It's a, how to make drifter style draws, all the rest of it. He, anyway, I'm not going to get into what happened between him and me there. But this one. So obviously they were on a trip recently to the Vikai country, um, both uh, Luke and, and Kato. I think from what I can gather from, from the social media stories is that they both come down, uh, Luke's gone home early, and Kato was down here with some mates doing some other stuff uh, um, around Mansfield area and that side. Um, it looks like Kato's been done by, by the coppers and he's got, he's got a canary on his car and he wasn't really even allowed to drive it away from, from the scene. So Luke's come trotting on down in the, in the, uh, in the ram, picks it up on a, on, a, uh, on a flatbed and he's taking it home. But instead of just taking it like a man, like, you know, you should, and how Kato is, he's just going, oh, well, I got done, whatever. Let's take it home. I'm in a different state. Yeah. No, no, no. Luke's taken to, to his uh, Drifter four wheel drive business account and he started abusing the Victorian police for saying how much, how, how they're horrible people and they're just going after insignificant crimes. Why don't they go after real criminals? Blah, 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 blah. He's not the first person to say that. So that's not really what I'm on about here. The, the fact, more of the fact is. It's your business page, buddy. Why are you having a whinge and having a go at Vic Police and all the rest of the full driving community on your business page? Jesus, God. Oh. And you go through the comments and some of the stuff that he's put up, and I'll put a couple of screen grabs up of, of, of the posts that, he, that he's done so you can make it, so you can see the type of content he's trying to put up there on his business page. So what Kato, from what I can gather from the social media post, um, Kato looks like he's got a canary on his car for two reasons. Um, relatively minor, but still illegal modifications to your car. Um, beadlocks on your, on your car, not allowed to have beadlock rims in Victoria. I don't know about New South Wales, but in Victoria, it's not allowed. And he had uh, non-standard seats inside the car. So he had XR6 seats in, a, in an SR5 Hilux. So they're not standard seats and obviously modifications to the seat rails. Not allowed unless you've got an engineer certificate to go with it. From what I understand, he has got most of the car engineered and it's all compliant. But he's gone and changed the car after it's been engineered. So technically it's illegal. So for Luke to jump on there in his freaking high horse and start saying that the coppers aren't doing the right thing, blah, 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 all the, all the stuff that he always bloody whinges about, he's wrong. Essentially, he is wrong because the car is illegal. Yet he's still there spouting on the, how he's right and all this other crap that he does. He's wrong. This isn't the first time that Luke's done this type of thing on his, on his business page. And this is my main issue about the fact that he's doing all this stuff on his business page. If you want to do this on your own page, buddy, go ahead, go nuts. It's no drama. But I've got a drama with you doing it on a, on a business that doesn't not only include you. Obviously, yes, you own the place. But there's a lot of employees under you that could suffer because of your actions on the way that and your opinions and what you're putting on the business page. 
So anyhow, let me just extrapolate slightly on that. So obviously we all know we've had this bloody COVID crap and the mandates and all the rest of the stuff that's been going on in the country. He's been very, very vocal about the fact that he's going to all the rallies. He's um, openly encouraging people to, to not get vaccinated, to, to rise up against the government and to basically just a big F you to, to the government and the, and the enforcement agencies. Whether that be right or wrong, I don't care, I don't know, I don't really have an opinion on that myself. Um, well, I do, but I'm not willing to share it on a big social media platform like I've got and like he's got. I don't think it's right. Made it, he made no bones about the fact that he, he's a, a, an avid anti-vaxxer. He's not getting vaccinated. That's cool, buddy. I don't care. No dramas at all. You go do you, I'll do me. Simple as that. Obviously, none of that, none of that is illegal. He's not doing anything wrong. He's not, he's not breaking the law. He's not doing anything bad in, that sense, in the sense of... Um, hitting people or, or, or abusing or stealing or he's not breaking the law in any of that fashion but someone of his social media platform I think just needs to be a little bit more careful about what he says um, he's obviously entitled to an opinion but be careful about what you say because you have a lot of influence over people <laughs> once again not getting into what's right and wrong here but mate come on Back to the issues at hand. So, Kato's car. He's, he's spouting on about how the cops are doing all the wrong thing and they're so nasty and they're, they're letting real criminals get away with everything else. I've got an opinion on that as well, but I'm going to keep it to myself for now. I'll go into that a little bit later in the video. So, the facts are Kato has an illegally modified car for Victorian roads that he was on. Speed locks on your car. Not allowed. XR seat, seat, seats in a car, modified rails, not allowed because it's not engineered. So the ramifications for that are, one, if you have an accident, you've got no insurance. So the insurance company will come after you personally for, for any, any damage that you cause to a third party property. If you, if you um, hurt someone, obviously that's, that's going to extrapolate it further and it's going to be into the millions of dollars because all the compensation is going to come from you as well. Um, obviously, there's no TAC cover. So even if you have no insurance at all, there's no TAC. So essentially the government will come after you personally for, the, for all the medical bills and for any other damages that you do. So you could be up for hundreds of thousands of dollars just because of the fact that you've got beadlocks and, and, and seats in your car and you're just, you know, sitting on your high horse thinking that you're right because, you know, but that doesn't hurt anyone. There's rules. There's rules for a reason. We all abide by them, but all of a sudden you think you're better than them. Go nuts, buddy. See what the rest of the full drive community thinks about that. Look, we all have to abide by these rules, but all of a sudden you're bigger than them. So that's pretty much what you're saying by what you're doing. So all of this comes back to the fact that obviously any individual person, and there's been plenty of people do this exact thing. I've been guilty of it. I've had 35 inch tires on the car that aren't engineered. Um, XR6 seat, six seats in a GU ute. I've done it, I've been there, I've done the wrong thing. I acknowledge that. I'm, old, I'm a bit older now. I recognize the fact that that's not right. And if I was to do it again, I'd get it engineered. And in today's day and age, getting things engineered is the way of doing things. That's Everyone does it. So looking at other brands, so Drifter as a brand is at the moment showing the wrong thing to the public. So they're showing that, nah, don't worry about it. Nah, just go out there and do what you want. Stuff all the officials, doesn't matter. Nah, it's just a bunch of wankers. Just, nah, man, just go put a five-inch lift on your car. It's fine. Don't worry about the ramifications of the geometry of your car. The bigger tires are going to affect the braking of your car. Um, seats might not be engineered. So if you have an accident, you're going to go through the windscreen. You know, just small things, just nothing at all. As, but as a brand because this is on their business page, this is what they're portraying to their 100,000 odd followers, which is a substantial amount of people. But look at other brands. So look at say, All For Adventure. So Jason Simon, heavily modified cars, fully engineered. Fully engineered, fully roadworthy, fully insured, TAC cover. Everything is done Mickey Mouse. And there's a brand of their size and style. I'd expect no less because they're, they're a professional operation, like Drifter should be. They're a, 
they should be a professional operation with someone of their size and caliber in the full driving industry. Um, uh, full drive adventure show, a slightly smaller channel on TV, heavily modified cars, some older ones as well, there are a 60 series, an FJ, all fully modified, all fully engineered, doing the right thing, showing the public that you can do it, you can do it properly. Myself even. I'm a small, I'm a small channel. I've got 28,000 subscribers on YouTube, another 20,000 between all the social media platforms. Small fry in compared to what some of these other bigger channels are, are out there. I've got a fairly modified car, fully, fully engineered, fully roadworthy. Everything on that car is done properly. It's done within spec. Forgetting about the bigger brands, there's a lot of smaller micro influencers um, that, that have got some massively modified cars that are doing the right thing. So I won't name names, but there's a bunch of other YouTubers and Instagram people and Facebook people that have awesome cars, fully engineered, because it's the right thing to do and it's easy to do these days if you're modifying a car correctly. If you're doing it wrong, of course you're not gonna get engineering on it because they won't give it to you. But Modify a car correctly, it'll be done fine. The rest of Drifter's advertising that they do on their social media, they try and advertise themselves as a good Australian company and they're all about Australian people and Australian products and, and it's all they're always bagging out imports and this and that. Yet, they've got Drifter Stockton, which as far as my understanding goes, that's all imported stuff that doesn't get made here. It's basically just from overseas and they rebrand it and sell it here. So they're just calling, that's the pot calling kettle black. Just, if you're gonna do something fellas, make sure you're squeaky clean before you start accusing other people of uh, doing the wrong thing. Shall we? Maybe let's go down that avenue. But back to back to what's at hand. At the end of the day, a representative of Drifter, so Kato works for Drifter, and it's obviously all over his page as well, he chose to drive an illegally modified car on Victorian roads on a long weekend, knowing full well that there's a blitz on for illegally illegal modified cars within that area, and it's well known, well documented that the Mansfield coppers they're pretty hard on cars. Okay, so in in, clo in closing with this whole thing, obviously all of this so far is my opinion. I I, I don't know Luke, I don't know Cato, I, I only follow them on social media. I don't really have any 100% hard facts or information about anything they're doing or done or what they've said. So all of this so far is my opinion. Don't take any of this as fact because I don't know 100%. But I'm, I'm going from a consumer point of view, seeing what their, what their social media is getting put out as, and I'm extrapolating from that. And this is what my opinion is of what they're doing. So don't try and sue me again, Luke. And I say again. <laughs> At the end of the day, from, my, from a consumer point of view, I see it as a Australian company that's trying to hold themselves up here, pretty much down here. Doing dodgy stuff with their cars, with illegal modifications, and it kind of makes you question whether, what else are they doing wrong? Like if, if they're willing to break the law that easily and then blame the cops for it, like, does that, like, that, does that dodgy attitude go into, into their business? Like, are they doing dodgy stuff in their business? Like, that's sort of what it extrapolates to. From a consumer, like, if they're doing the wrong thing just with that, does that mean they're doing dodgy stuff with what they make? Is, is that part of it? So, and I really hope Luke watches this and don't sue me again. That's the image that you're putting out. All these rants that you have on, on Instagram and Facebook and you're saying how the government's this and this is that and oh my God, we need to take our country back because I'm a, I'm a great big cowboy with my hat on. Yeah! I'm glad you shaved your beard off too. No, I liked your beard, buddy. Your beard was good. I like, yeah. Grow your beard back. You look better. You look like a real bushman. Now you look like a 10 year old. But that's the image that Luke is putting out to me. If you're doing dodgy stuff there, you're doing dodgy stuff elsewhere, and we just don't know where it is yet. So for me, I'm gonna steer clear of the entire brand because I don't trust you. Because of what you say and what you do and the rants and the ramblings and crap that you go on about, I'm not buying your crap, no way. I, I think that's wrong and that'll be wrong and I don't wanna support you. And I know quite a lot of people in the exact same boat. They've gone right off your brand because you can't keep your mouth shut. You've got to spout it off about some stupid crap. Have a personal opinion. Go stupid. No, yeah, just do whatever you want. 
Do it on your personal page. Luke, do it on your personal page, buddy. Leave Drifter to being Drifter, which is what should be a good Australian company, instead of just your personal platform to piss on everyone else. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> if you like this type of content from me, taking the piss out of people because they're being wankers at the moment, maybe uh, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment down below of what you think. Actually, the comment section down below is going to be awesome <laughs> with this one because I know there's going to be two very polar opposites of opinion with this video. So I'll, I'll make it clear now. Any abusive messages towards me or anyone else will be deleted. No, that's 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 a no-go. Like, have an opinion, tell me off, whatever, but no abuse, that's that's not on, just, just so we're all on the same page here, right? But those comments are going to be so cool down there. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.